On iPick Life, we explore the best of what we love in art, culture, music, architecture, fashion, and more. Take a look at the latest on iPick Life. When I first started painting on the books, I would get them from thrift stores, and then I approached a library, and I asked them if they had any discarded books, and they said, no, you know, we don't give those away. And then I said, oh, okay, because I make paintings, and I showed them a painting that I made. And they were like, oh my gosh, come on down. And they took me down to this secret little room and they're like, you can have as many as you want. And they, they gave me like 10,000 books. My artwork is basically just complete emotion, really. <laughs> It's a way for me to express my emotions, and that's how I've always done it. Since I started doing art, it just, I have a feeling, and it just somehow translates onto a, a canvas. Um, I, I got actually commissioned to do installations at five theaters, um, the first one being Houston. Second was Miami, and Westwood, New Jersey, and New York. And um, each one is, a, is a, an incredible job. Anywhere from 10 to 20 paintings, and then an installation on books that's, that's usually, you know, 5,000 to 7,000 books. A lot of times I'll see the painting before I even painted it, and it's like magic. It's hard to explain. Like, I don't even really like to talk about it because it's so weird. But it's, it, it's almost like, there's a door and I can open the door and walk in and grab images out and come out. And then I look at it and go like, wow, I can't believe I made that. IPIC has really nurtured me as an artist by letting me do what I want and giving me creative freedom. The best pieces I can come up with are the ones where there's no idea of what somebody wants, because that's usually when it starts to get stale. But if I really just sit down and, and, and let myself go, you're definitely going to get the best piece. Check out the full episode of IPIC Life at IPIC.com slash IPIC now.